On today's episode, we're going to be testing out all these different types of drywall anchors, which one can hold the most weight and which one is the best. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So just a word of caution before we start today's video, always make sure that what's behind your wall is fully clear out of piping and electrical wiring. Now I have this cool device right here. It's called the endoscope. You can check behind any type of wall to make sure that it is clear from all that danger stuff before drilling. I actually made a video on that. Check it out on the top right right here. Also this endoscope, I'll leave it in the description down below if you want this product and everything that I use within this video. Thank you so much. Let's get into today's episode. I made a mock-up right here. It's made out of two by fours and a half inch drywall. So I'm gonna be using this hanging scale so we can check out how much pounds each one can hold and we'll go from there. First one to the plate is this Quali Home self-drilling plastic. This is the one with the little screw type. So now I have my little rig here that's attached to the pounds. This one failed at 78.2 pounds. One inch right here. Hangs up to 75 pounds. We got 78.2 pounds, a lot better than that. So, all right, so let's move on to a much stronger one. This is one's rated up to 100 pounds toggle anchor. And this one's made out of metal. So this one's a self drilling one. reading up to 154 pounds. I'm just gonna round it off to 154 pounds. One inch damage. And that was rated up to 100 pounds, but it went above and beyond and went up to 154 pounds. So, cool. So this next one we're gonna do is the snap toggle, the heavy duty toggle bolts okay so this one's rated oh, I actually cut this one this one's supposed to go up to for a half inch drywall which we're using it's supposed to go up to 265 pounds and that's about the strongest one that i have as of now this one we have to pre-drill the hole and then insert this through and i'll show you how to do it and let's test it out This is a two and a half inch bolt, very long, heavy duty, and just insert it till it hits the thread. So this one caught me off by surprise. It failed at around 107 to 110 pounds. That's when it started to start going and ripping out through this drywall. From the manufacturer's chart, we're using a half inch drywall. It was supposed to be rated up to 265 pounds, but it failed at around 107 to 110. So out of all the ones we've tested so far, which was this one and this one. This was actually the worst one so far. One inch. What we have next are these no drill anchors. They're supposedly, you just have to hammer them through the drywall, like so. Just stick them in there, start hammering, and they come in two sizes. You got a large and a small. I didn't see the manufacturer's ratings on these for the pounds, so we're gonna test it out today. So 
So it looks like it started failing at around 50 pounds. This one I would say it went up to about 55 max before it started failing about three quarters. So the last set of anchors that we're going to be testing out in today's video are these common rib plastic anchors. There are five different types of sizes, both differentiating in different colors. So we're going to start off with the three different yellows, one blue, one gray. Since each of these have different sizes, we're going to be using different size drill bits. I highly suggest you go one size a little bit below the actual size of each anchor so that it doesn't wiggle around and it's nice and snug inside the hole. Gray one inch, blue one inch, yellow one 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 fifth, yellow one and three fifths, and two and two fifths. max of 48 pounds. And around 35 pounds. This one we started moving around 40 pounds. At 29 pounds. So friends, hopefully you made it this far to the video. Here are all the final results. So you can freely pause this if you'd like. This one I had high expectations because it went up to 200 plus on what the manufacturer says, but it did poorly and only made up to 100 and seven to 110 pounds these are fairly good too as well in my honest opinion they're very you know very clean all you gotta do is hammer it in no no drywall dust very minimal and they hold pretty good weight as well for the rest of these um they're okay i wouldn't these are the most common ones you find on you know picture frames and whatnot but i i kind of stay away from these types because they're just you know very flimsy and doesn't hold up well in the future anyways so that pretty much concludes all the tests on this video if you made it this far thank you so much again all the anchors on this video and all the tools that i use i'll leave it on the description down below if you have any questions whatsoever please leave it in the comment section down below and let me know in the comment section as well which anchor you prefer and which one you always use all right friends so if you found big value in today's video please hit that big thumbs up press the subscribe and notification bell because i have more product reviews diys and how-to videos i post three videos weekly so stay tuned for all those and make sure you subscribe thank you so much i'll see you in the next one